if we have a genetic memory, bees are deeply embedded in that memory because we've been closely associated with in, this insect from the very beginning, literally millions of years. That whole history of, of, of honey hunting, we see these uh, very old paintings in Africa. There's a great painting of a guy using a smoker. Um, you know, two and a half thousand years before Christ yeah. um, to control and, and, and gather honey. This is one of the things that brought me to Malaysia. An 80-year-old gentleman, uh, Malay honey hunter, traditional honey hunter by the name of Pak Te, um, who's trained his two grandsons to climb the tallest tree in Asia, the Tualong tree, uh, to get the Apis dorsata honey. The bee has been sacred, particularly in Egypt it was considered to be sacred. But what's happened, as has happened with many other things, is in order to capitalize on the products that the bees produce, we've pushed the bees into an industrial realm. There are 90 food crops that are dependent on the bees for pollination. Your diet and mine is dependent on that pollination connection. What lies in store for the agriculture industry if the bees go away? You like rice? If the bees go away, you'll have lots of rice, corn, wheat. Without movable insect pollinators, and honeybees are by far the most efficient and the most easily managed to do that, we wouldn't have our fruits, we wouldn't have our vegetables, cows and our dairy industry and our beef industry. If we want a diet that is more than gruel, we need insect pollinators. So when billions of bees began to mysteriously disappear last year... Something is killing our honeybees in staggering numbers. There's a name for what's happening, colony collapse disorder. You can't turn on the television or pick up a newspaper or a magazine now without reading about CCD. This is the yard where I had the highest winter losses, 80 percent. Ten out of twelve didn't make it. It's occurred in almost 30 states now. There's going to be a big collapse, not only in our country, but 135 countries worldwide, and it's going to be bad. Colony collapse is a condition where we see the rapid loss of the adult bee population. And we know that it was a rapid loss because often you'll find lots of young bees or baby bees in the colony and you'd never expect bees to leave their young behind. Animals don't generally abandon their children. Here's the queen here. And you can see that's a nice patch of brood. She's really trying and, and you can see eggs right up into the outside. So she's trying very hard to build that population, but the bees are dying faster they can be replaced. The bees somehow are becoming disoriented and they're dying in the field, or they become so disoriented that they can't find their way back home. But we don't find dead bees in the colony, and we don't find dead bees in the apiary. They've flown away. The biggest mystery is that we don't know what's causing it. With CCD right now, we're just trying to figure out what is it. We've certainly stressed honeybees with the way we treat them. We ship them around the country from job to job to job. Loss of habitat, modern agriculture. Loss of genetic diversity. Genetically modified food. Recreening all the time. What we're going to find is that the major ingredient is this pesticide soup that we've immersed everyone in. We found in fact that these bees had every possible pathogen or disease. It's nutrition, we're losing a lot of our field forage. It's just the combination of all these stressors all at once and it's just too much. My first reaction was, I think it's probably, uh, I think I labeled the death by a thousand cuts. I think what they're doing is a perfectly natural response. I mean, when you look at how agriculture as an industry has become so ill, I'd leave. We don't know what this next winter is going to bring. If it brings another 60, 70, or 80 percent loss to these commercial beekeepers, we're in deep trouble. If the beekeepers who lost the number of bees they lost this year lose those same colonies this coming year, they will not be able to afford to replace them. 
and so these people will go bankrupt. My survival is doubtful, and I'm as passionate as they come. CCD, it is a wake-up call. Beast, you want to tell us something? They're just that messenger that's saying, where is your food coming from? The nature of crisis is, there's this Chinese character for crisis. It's danger and opportunity. This is not sustainable, and we really have to change that. We need to care for the planet. We need to care for our environment. It's a challenge for all of us humans, I believe, to stop and step back and look at the whole picture and maybe then return to the little bee. That's the $64,000 question at the moment is what's going to happen next. The question is, is it going to happen again? Um, I'm thinking it's, unfortunately, I think it is going to happen again. All of these problems are solvable. Many of them should have been solved as they came along. Instead, they've been allowed to accumulate and grow, and, and here we are. We're on the verge of collapse.